The Resource Center set up at the Orlando International Airport to help Hurricane Maria evacuees is now set to close in two weeks. Channel 9's Lauren Seabrook has brought you dozens of stories from there during the last 90 days. And Lauren, the airport says the volume of passengers needing help has been dropping. Yeah, Martha, when we first started coming here, this place was packed every single day, and all of those tables were filled with people. This whole seating area was filled with families waiting. There were big, long lines out here. This receiving center is closed for the day right now, but we did see some families coming through earlier, just not as many as we've seen in the past. The Montos family is off to start a new life in Orlando. They just arrived this morning from Puerto Rico, nearly three months after Hurricane Maria hit the island. We lost our house. Like 28,000 evacuees so far, Joy Montos and her husband went through the disaster center at the airport for guidance with their new lives. A place to stay, that was the most important one. But state emergency management says the center is helping more people who are driving in and have been here a little while than actual passengers getting off planes from Puerto Rico. So state county and airport leaders have decided to close the center in two weeks on December 29th. Wow. People are going to stay in the streets. Joy says many Puerto Ricans have been waiting it out and praying the power would come back on. I know a lot of them have hope. But after almost 90 days, she said some just can't take it anymore, and they're planning moves to Central Florida in the new year. She worries about what will happen to them when they get here and don't know where to go for support with health care, job leads, food assistance, FEMA aid, emotional therapy, or school registration. Emergency management says it's working with local, state, and federal partners to open a new resource center for evacuees by the end of the year, but it does not have a location or date set. Now, just because things are starting to wrap up here, it does not mean this humanitarian crisis is over. I checked with FEMA today. They still have 11,000 people in hotels. United Way is still paying for 2,000 more families. Martha. And Lauren, there are some smaller resource centers around Central Florida. Will, will they be staying open? Well, Martha, according to FEMA, all of the centers around the state will actually close on the 20th, except for one small center here in Orlando. It is over on Orange Blossom Trail. That will stay open on a limited basis and just have a few reps there to help out these families. Reporting live at Orlando International Airport, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.